strong supports are unavailable, but a lot of them are actually up on the boards. They're still going to take it away anyway, and that's immediately at. Ah, okay, it's because of the Aphelios priority that Fnatic is going to grab for Ooh. themselves. This is such a quick first set of pick and bans, though. Azir, Jarvan immediately locked in. There's Tom <laughs> Kemp alongside Vega. I remember watching Nemesis play the Vega against G2 at the start of Spring Split. Didn't work out too well for him then, but it is one of his signature champions. Wow, look, this is like speed drafting, but it yep. clearly both these teams have come in with a plan. The Vega being used as a counter pick to the Azir. It's something that Nemesis is very comfortable on, something that he can default to. And we'll talk a lot more about it when we actually get into the game, but the second phase of bans already coming in thick and fast, man. Holy moly, they're like, okay, we've gone through Robin Schultz, we've gone through the pregame, let's get on into this match of League That's of Legends as quickly as we can. The Lulu is locked in. Uh, expect that to be the support here, of course, because Azir already locked in for the mid lane. Silas Lee Sin, the final two picks for Fnatic. So that's going to be Silas in the top lane. It's Lulu Cogmore! It's Lulu Cogmore <laughs> for G2. 